hello everyone let us discuss today topic is that min max planning at the sub inventory level okay so first of all what is the min max planning okay if see to create any demand okay to create to meet the any demand so we are set up that minimum level of quantity and maximum level of quantity in our application okay once it's a fall down the minimum quantity then automatically this planning uh, it will create the demand order so there's a various either it's a you know movement request or it's the you know work order or it might be you know that's a purchase order so depends on source which we are selecting so in our configurations so based on that it will create the orders okay it will fulfill that demand let us discuss the, okay how we perform that min max planning okay at sub annuity level we can perform the min max planning item level and sub annuity level and org level but here today we are going to discuss at the sub annuity level okay first here uh, we need to do uh, we will create that uh, new item at the same time uh, we will create that uh, sub inventory with min max planning parameters and uh, we will run that uh, you know min max planning now uh, for this you know sub inventory level and we will re review and we will review that if that order is created or uh, not okay so let's see uh, let us create the first one item so home page there is a product management and product management go the pim okay It seems instances a uh, bit slow. Yeah. Okay. In product information management, just task list, create item, this is so we are creating the new item, new item, and FG, then our root item class is the root item class and the template i'm selecting the purchased item okay then click on okay i will create one more you know one one more video for that you know i will record for one rec uh, video for item template what is the item template and all okay so here just i'm creating that item Yes, and zero zero min mac demo okay then save here it's a bottom right go associations we are going to you know assign that item we create the item in master arc so i'm going to association just a click the a symbol i'm searching for child arc this is the child arc okay apply done then 
seven clause. So I'm then create a sub inventory click that to your user then set up on maintenance here two ways we can go navigate either manufacturing supplier manufacturing supply chain material management here just you can go that organization sorry inventory organization then uh, here we can select that you know manage sub inventory Sorry, wait to give me one second. No. It's okay. Then directly we can go here, just, uh, you know, search. Here, search with, you know, manage sub and location. Then I'm I'm selecting child arc just zero zero one here just create the sub inventory okay C S zero zero one min max sub inventory I'm selecting min max okay. it's already there what I will do zero just CS min max okay CX min max I'm not selecting anything so when I will you know demonstrate to each about each attribute when uh, I'm going to you know them record the video about the create sub inventory okay just click the save click on ok here just click that item sub inventory ok then I'm adding the my item to this sub inventory. Okay. What is the, our sub inventory? CES, sorry, SEM, CES. Okay. So, what is the planning method? It's a min max planning. EOM is the each and minimum quantity. I'm going to set up. one and maximum I'm going to enter this 10 okay and uh, from where we will create the what is the source to create this you know so here source is that sub inventory see here there are three right one is that uh, sources are it's very important source if you select the source so this demand it will fulfill uh, through the moment request and if it's the source is the organization it will 
okay it will fulfill that with the you know a transfer order and if it's a source is that a supplier right this demand will fulfill that you know or pivot purchase order so means if when we are running that or uh, running the min max planning repo then automatically based on the source that order respect to orders it will create if you sub, uh, select the sub unit movement request it will create if you select that organization transfer order it will create automatically and if it select the supplier it uh, purchase order it will create automatically so just i'm clicking the source and uh, then uh, so click that save done okay so then uh, we need to run min max planning report process go home page go tools schedule process here click the new schedule new process and run that print min max min max planning report click ok <laughs> select the organization or and uh, sort by its inventory item so enter our inventory item so scm cp i gave that right let me search that item See, yes, sorry. So even two item as well. If we want to run that, you know, uh, for multiple item that we need to select. So planning level, we are just uh, running that sub unit level. It's not org level, right? So then uh, that is the one item selection is the all item planned item. Okay and the sub inventory we need to select cs min max okay then the same we will leave in that parameters as de uh, okay, default ones and here it's a restock should select as a yes and the rest of this one okay leave it then go advanced then output then click the plus So which format we want this one right it's a just i'm giving the pdf then click the submit say output which format we need that uh, art one i selected here okay 
refresh Select the min max planning report and this there is attachment right. So if you select here it's there. So then here there is a Either we can download or just click that republish. Okay, then here there's the actions that PDF. Okay, we have downloaded. Okay, our parameters will come in first page. Then if you see the second page, see our minimum quantity is that zero we set up that parameter and maximum quantity is at 10 and it's ordered for 10 quantity because it's a maximum quantity it will order okay let's say for example we have set up this minimum quantity is a 5 and maximum quantity is a 10 and but we have currently on hand is a 3 so it's a far it's under the you know minimum quantity 3 right so it will calculate like you know 10 minus 3 plus 7 right so it will reorder quantity it will be 7 okay so let us uh, review this one uh, either uh, you know moment request got created or not okay for this item so go the application home page supply chain execution it is supply yeah. supply chain execution then inventory management then go task list here there is a manage movement request Here you can try with um, SEM underscore CS item, then such. Give the item and such. See, requested quantity is 10. okay we requested the 10 that's all for today thank you